wanted. Mike Riley says that's the feeling he got while watching a replay of Nebraska's overtime loss at Wisconsin. Missed opportunities costing the Huskers an 8-0 start for the season. However, with that first loss of the year comes a little national respect. One of the reasons why the Huskers dropped only two spots. They're ninth in the AP poll, still in the top 10. Mike Riley says his team is mad, but confidence is still high after showing the country the Huskers can play with the big boys. I think people needed some confirmation about who we really were in playing uh, a team that was also ranked at one time and a real close, top 10 team like Wisconsin. Just being able to go out there into a, a tough atmosphere at Madison and, and play as well as we did um, in some areas and almost come off the win, that's, that's, that says something about our team and, and how far we've come. So, um, you know, we're going to take that into, into this week and just keep getting better. Mixed bag on the injury front. Guard Tanner Farmer will miss Saturday's game with an ankle injury. Tight end Stephen Carter close to returning. Mike Riley says that decision will come later in the week. And linebacker Dedrick Young should play after hurting his elbow against Wisconsin. Nice honor for Husker senior Nate Gary. Gary named a semifinalist for the Chuck Bednarik Award. is given to the top defensive player in college football. Gary leads the Huskers with four interceptions, including two Saturday against Wisconsin. Gary, one of three Big Ten players to make that list. That includes Iowa's Desmond King. Also, Mike Riley named to the midseason watch list for the Bobby Dodd Close Coach of the Year Award. Riley, one of three Big Ten coaches on that list. 